Hey guys, uh, I got an update to my uh, CNC conversion of my Grizzly lathe. Uh, I've added some threading functionality to the Arduino end of it. Um, I've got another video to explain the conversion. Um, basically, it's a, a dual control conversion. So I've got a smooth stepper running Mach 4, but I can also turn the controller to an Arduino and it lets me just run this thing like a manual lathe. I've got a couple encoders on the hand wheels, a switch on the half nut, and it basically runs with an Arduino now. Um, that's just to, to be able to do the manual functions. I don't have to always go to CNC uh, software and CAM programs to, to do basic operations. So I wanted to add threading. So I've got the program all set up. Um, I think it's going to be running well. Uh, I haven't cut a thread yet. You'll see the first one being cut here. Um, it's got a single index point on the spindle, so it's not an encoder on the, on the spindle. I don't know exactly where this spindle is all the time. I only know at a single index, and I'm going to try to track my motors against that single index and see if we can uh, cut a thread accurately. So I'll, I'll take you through the LCD display, how you run through the the questions to pick a choose a thread and uh, then I'll run a couple dry runs and then I'll get real tight in with the camera and we'll cut our first thread. Alright so here's the LCD um, which is basically a DRO it's got a RPMs inches per minute we can we can dial these things up and down um, this is for just standard manual mode and what I've done is added the functions under the, the third button here. If we press and hold, we'll go into a mode selection. Uh, and the buttons are B1, B2, and B3. So we'll, we'll be presented with a, a series of questions. Um, and first is select the mode. Uh, I've got a, a bunch of modes in here that I plan to add, like spheres, tapers. Uh, standard mode just goes back to regular manual mode. And uh, the first one is external thread. So we choose this. Um, next question is the thread size. So we can go up to, we're going to do an M20, M20 thread, and choose OK. Uh, part material. Uh, it'll go through all the parts, or the materials that I have listed in the Adreno. Um, it knows the surface feet per minute, and it will give a, a recommended RPM based on that. So we're going to be doing aluminum. Uh, our cutting tool material, uh, carbide high-speed steel. We'll choose high-speed steel. Um, and then we have outside diameter. Uh, this is the nominal outside diameter that's uh, in the charts for a M20 thread. Um, so it's telling us to turn the outside diameter to 19.791 millimeters. And then it gives us the tolerance on that outside diameter. So I've already turned the diameter. Um, and then it's asking to measure. So the measured value, is it 19.791? Well, I, I didn't quite get exactly that. So I'm going to enter exactly what that value is. And the program will, will know, will use this actually when setting up the tool. Yeah. So I'm going to choose OK here. Uh, and it's asking for a for the x-axis to be set up with a C391 tool on the outside diameter. What this is doing now is we're going to be using a Starrett C391 tool, 60 degree tool. We're going to set this on the diameter and then put our thread tool right into the, uh, the 60 degree and then lock it down. I've taken the measurement of this tool with a pin in the, in the 60 degree angle to this edge so the program knows exactly the dimension from the 60 degree to the center of the part well 60 degree to this edge and then we've already given it the OD the exact OD so it will know exactly from the center line of the part to the tool angle and that's what drives the um, the form of the tool you want your pitch diameter to be correct you don't really care about your tip of the tool. You could have a small nose radius or something like that. So that's not very accurate to touch off on the OD. What's, what's much more accurate is to, to actually set the angle relative to the, the stock. 
So we're going to bring it over and pull it in just a little bit. Pull it back just a hair. I want to be able to I'm going to allow the tool to stick out quite a bit because I want to be able to see on the camera what's going on. So just pressing that against the front face. Sets our tool up perfectly. I'm going to choose accept when we're done with that. Second, next question is uh, the set X tool tip on the outside diameter. Now it's going to want to know where the tool tip is. So we're going to bring this tool in and just touch the outside band. And accept. Next question is the set X retract position. So this is how far you want the tool to, to extract. And we're going to say accept. Now it's asking the set Z end position. This is where we want the tool to stop threading. And the start position. Of course, at the start of the thread. Now, you want to go a little bit beyond this. And I think I even I'll make the program do about five millimeters. It won't it won't accept it if it's not more than that. And accept the start position. Uh, next question is the spindle speed. Now the program knows it's aluminum. It knows it's high speed steel, so it's going to tell you to set the spindle speed. At this for this M20, it's at 315 RPMs. And if I if I choose accept. Here, it's not going to accept it. It's going to tell me it's too high. It, it allows like a 20% variation, but it wants you to be in this range. Uh, so we'll crank it down until it's about 315. It's good enough. And now it's going to tell you to engage the half nut. Now, the first pass, or the first time you engage the half nut, it's going to do a scratch pass only. And it's going to pull back, retract, and go back to the beginning. And this is to allow you to check the thread. So M20 is a 2.5 is the pitch. So about two threads, we get five millimeters. Let's see how that looks. And that's five, and that's ten. And that's 15. So it looks like the, the pitch is good. Very easy check. Start the spindle again. And it's telling you to toggle the half knot again. And now we're going to actually start threading. So when I toggle this time, and it's going to do all the passes. For this thread, it's going to do 10 passes. That was pass one, two. And now I only have a single index on the spindle. So what's happening is the motor is is tracking that single index pulse. I'll explain after the thread is gone here.
this is the last pass, number 10 of 10. And there's our thread. When it's done, it's going to give you a couple more options here. Uh, exit's the first one. Um, if we go over, we have measure over wire, which we'll get to. Spring pass and adjust depth. So we're going to go and do a spring pass here. It's just going to simply tell you to, to engage this half nut again. And we're going to be taking a spring pass. And you can see it's taking some material off again. And I'm going to run a couple spring passes. Just going to choose it again and then toggle the half knot. Looks like hardly nothing's coming off now. So we're going to do the wire method. Um, this is going to be very difficult with the, the camera in the way. But So when you select measure over wire, it's going to tell you what wire to use. It's telling you to use a, a 1.397 millimeter wire. And it's going to tell you the mic dimension. So with those wires, the mic should read 20.2749 and the tolerance on that is plus or minus 0.085, 85 microns. And if, if that's the case, then we have a thread that's in spec. Okay, we look like we're uh, 20.377. We're supposed to be at 20.27. And the tolerance is only 85 microns. So we are out of spec by 0.1. Easily 0.1. Let me check that one more time. 20.38. Yeah, that's about right. So 0.1 off. So what we're going to do is adjust the uh, adjust the pass. We're going to accept this, and we know we're 0.1 oversize on the diameter. Um, we're allowed 85 microns, so it's very very close to something that's in spec, but it's it's oversized. So we're going to accept this, and we'll go back to our our selection screen, and now we're going to do an adjust pass. So we're going to adjust it, and we're going to tell it how much in feed we need to add. Now this is in feed, so this is at a radius. So we're going to only add 50 microns here. We've got to put our tool back in, of course. Spindle on. This is radial in feed. And we're going to accept this at 50 microns, and it's going to tell us to Engage the half nut again. On the screen, it goes back to the adjust depth. We're going to choose it again and just do the default 50, and this is going to take a spring pass on that. Engaging the half nut again. And we're going to do it one more time. Engage.
And this time we're reading 20.273. And that is pretty damn close to spec. 20.275. So we are uh, two microns out of spec. It's not bad. And now, again, I don't even know if this is an M20. It's, yeah, that's an M20. She is a little tight, but ah, now that's nothing. Just a little crap in the thread, making it a little tight, but that is a, a very, very good fit. I'll take a picture of the thread under a microscope. So that's it.